Hello readers. Yesterday you guys did an amazing job of first, not only choosing what books you wanted to read, but second, deciding how you wanted to read your stories. And I bet some of you guys even reread those same stories and read them in different ways. If so, bravo, bravo. Well, today I wanna to teach you that as you're choosing your books to read, there's another thing that can help you decide on how to read that book. And the answer to that is to take a sneak peek. Now, we're not new to sneak peeks, right? We know all about sneak peeks, where to look in the book and how to get some information before we even read the book. But now we're going to use sneak peeks to help us decide how the book wants to be read. We're going to ask ourselves, hmm, how does this book want to be read? And we're going to use that sneak peek to help us answer that. So I was also thinking about yesterday, we read this story, um, There Was No Lady Who Swallowed a Fly. Now, when I read it, I looked at, I did a little quick scan and I read it first in a very sad voice because I said, perhaps she'll die. And then I did it, I read it again and I read, decided the next time to read it in a scary voice because there was a spider in there. So of course I had to change and read it in a scary voice because spiders, yuck. Um, so, and then I was thinking, you know what? That story was actually written in a very silly, playful way. So the next time I read it, I'm gonna read it in a playful way because think about it, there was no lady who swallowed us a fly. That's pretty silly, right? Yes. So when you are reading your books to help you decide how to read your story, take a sneak peek. So we are going to look at one of my favorite books called Katie Wu Has the Flu. And we're going to take a big second grade sneak peek. Oops, wrong button. I did not mean to hit that. There we go. We're going to take a big second grade sneak peek and we're going to decide how the book wants to be read. So when we're taking our sneak peeks, we know we look on the front cover. So let's look at that cover and study. See if there's anything on this page that's helping us decide how to read the book. The book is called Katie Wu Has the Flu. Oh my goodness, looking at her face, she's in the bed, has a thermometer in her mouth. Her face is kind of scrunched together. So she looks like she's not feeling very good at all. So I'm thinking we might want to read this in a, in a serious voice. Like she's kind of worried, right? Because she's sick. Now let's also check the back. Ooh, there's a blurb. Let's read this blurb and see if there's any more information that helps us decide how to read the book. It says, hi, I'm Katie Wu. My mom says that I have a bug. I thought that meant there's a bug running around in my tummy, but it just means I am sick. Now I have to stay home from school and eat boring things like soup and toast. Why won't this flu bug just go away? So hmm, now I'm starting to, starting to think maybe it's not gonna be such a um, sad and serious uh, book that maybe I should change my voice because she's kind of sounds like um, she has to stay home all day and she's bored. So maybe we should read it in a bored and annoyed voice. Maybe so. Now readers, there's one more place that we can check as we're taking our sneak peek. We've looked on the front, we've looked on the back, and now we're gonna open up the book and take a look at the table of contents. So let's see if this gives us any ideas of how the book wants to be read. Chapter one is called Achoo. So I'm thinking, that chapter is probably about Katie Wu being very sick. So thinking about how that might want to be read is probably in a very sick type of voice, right? Like a chew, she's sneezing, not feeling good. And then chapter two is called Sick at Home. And we know from the back blurb that she's bored at home because she has to stay in bed most of the day. So maybe that chapter wants to be read in a bored and annoyed voice. And then chapter three says feeling better. So maybe that chapter, deciding how we want to read it, should be maybe happy and relieved, and maybe that's how we should change our voice. So readers, as you're reading today, we are continuing to take charge of our reading. Yesterday, we learned that we um, decide how to read a story, and today we're diving a little bit deeper. We're going to use a sneak peek to help us decide how that book wants to be read. So now it's your turn. This next book is called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. So just from the cover and the title, go ahead and ask yourself, hmm, how does this book want to be read? Tell a partner, how do you think this book 
wants to be read just from the front cover. Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Mm -hmm. Look at that character space. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can zoom in. Oh, nope, I can't. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's look at the back blurb. Let's see if we get any more ideas of how the book wants to be read. I said, Alexander knew it was going to be a terrible day when he woke up with gum in his hair and it got worse. His best friend deserted him. There was no dessert in his lunch bag. And on top of all of that, there were lima beans for dinner. Oh my goodness. I hope that you are thinking what I'm thinking, that this book wants to be read in a very frustrating, angry voice because it seems like there's just horrible things going on with Alexander's day. So I'm thinking the book wants us to read it in a frustrating, upset, angry type of way. We wouldn't want to read this book in a happy, go lucky and seeing voice, right? That wouldn't make sense. We use that sneak peek to help us decide how the book wants to be read. So readers, as you go off today, remember we are taking charge of our reading and we're making or helping ourselves get stronger and stronger. Yesterday we talked about learning how to decide how to read. And today we are going to give the book a sneak peek to help us decide how we're going to read. So before you pick up your book, take a sneak peek, look at the front, the back, and don't forget, you can even look at the table of contents, and then that'll help you decide how the book wants to be read. All right, readers, off you go.